Hi, Maria here and Val's back. <laughs> so today we're going to do something a little different. Val is going to share her top 15 for life. She couldn't narrow it down to 10 and I don't blame her. It's super <laughs> tough. You guys always talk about the fact that it's almost impossible to narrow it down to 10. So she's going for 15 and I can't wait for you to see them. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Woohoo! These are not in any particular order until we get to number one, which is my favorite perfume of all time. But the rest of them are just kind of, I just love them and adore them all. So I'm not even going to try to categorize them. But to start, I'm going to go with my signature fragrance all through my 30s. This is Hot Couture by Givenchy. And I know Maria is very familiar with this one. Just a beautiful, feminine, just beautiful. And there's nothing really like it. No. You know? No, it's it, it, it's rich. Mm -hmm. I love the raspberry in this because it smells quite syrupy mm -hmm. with a little bit of a, like a, do you get a hint of a cigarette vibe in this or no? I don't, but I've you heard don't. it described okay. that way so many times. <sighs> um, you know, I fell in love with this perfume before there were internet videos about perfumes, right? right? Yeah. So to me, it wasn't, I, like I can get that now that I've heard people describe it mm -hmm. that way, but what I've always gotten from it is just it's warm it's really warm mm -hmm. and it seems to once it's on your skin for a little bit it just seems to really create a scent bubble that's warm with that raspberry yeah um let me see if i get that well and it's true like uh my sister it was my sister's sister's signature scent every time i got into mm. the car with her i'm like what are you wearing yeah. literally every time yeah. it's so delicious it's decadent <sighs> but not too sweet yeah and I, I'd almost cater I don't know how it's categorized, but almost like a fruity amber. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good description. I looked up the notes. It does have vetiver, and okay. I think maybe vetiver is part of that cigarette. Yeah, kind of a feel like the way it yeah. hits the raspberry note. All I know is women who love this fragrance they know this fragrance yeah. so if you're out in the world and you smell a woman wearing hot couture you go up and you say hot couture and they're like yeah <laughs> it's, it's the so hot couture <laughs> club <laughs> it's just it's nothing else smells like it so i mean obviously you get the raspberry but everything else is just it's it's such a mysterious one to me yeah you can't really break it down and it just yeah the warmth of your skin creates such a beautiful scent bubble. I love it. I yeah. love it. I'll love it forever. I'm just going to go for the good stuff right off the top because who doesn't love Alien? And if you don't love Alien, I don't get why. I, I'll never understand it. It's my favorite. It's not my favorite favorite, favorite but it's, oh, it's so good. It really is. Like, mm -hmm. and again, these are iconic, well-loved fragrances, uh, mm -hmm. both Hot Couture and this one. And this is such a, like, do you find this mm -hmm. is a man magnet? Big time. Yeah. And this is my boyfriend's favorite perfume. Yeah. yeah. It's so freaking sexy. Mm -hmm. Do you find it soapy a little bit? Because I've always found it just slightly soapy. Soapy sexy. Do you get uh, any yeah, clean I soap? That. I can see that. Um, it's Which is, almost like in an aldehydic kind of a feeling, yeah, even though yeah. there aren't aldehydes in it. <sighs> There's something, yeah, it's extremely sexy. It's a sex bomb. Yeah. But it's, I don't find it offensive. I don't, I know no. you could obviously wear too much of this perfume, but it, it really, this is one of those ones similar to hot couture that kind of becomes you. Yeah. You know, some perfumes wear you, <laughs> this one becomes you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and I, it's one of those fragrances, like with Hot Couture, I have a description for this one. I can't, I can't smell any specific note. Like I don't get massive jasmine. I just get something really, really delicious and sexy. Yeah. And it's very, very sweet, but there's no particularly sweet notes. Yeah. Is there? It's no. what is it? It's jasmine, sandback. I think it's jasmine, notes. sandback, amber, and... Cashmere. And... Yeah. But to me, it almost smells like it's not grape, but it's almost grape. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And not just yeah, because I guess the bottle's saying. purple. It's because it's got this very thick, sweet, that's almost perfumey. Like, it, it's not grapey. It's yeah. perfumey. It is not almost perfumey. But yeah. Love it's it. just, yeah. Stands alone. Uh-oh. I said it stands alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right back down that road. All right. <laughs> Um, in, the, 
In that same vein, I also have an absolute favorite alien flanker, and this is O oh Extraordinaire. This one is so pretty. It's got all the loveliness, all the sexiness of alien, but it's kind of brighter and fresher for summer with notes of tea, there are solar notes, there's even tiare flower. It's not overly tropical, it's just that summer vibe mm -hmm. with the tea. I love tea fragrances, so tea plus alien, I'm this. I'm a lifer with this one. See this, uh, I definitely get a lot of that tea. And it's got less alien to me than Alien No Sublime. Have you smelled Alien No Sublime? Yes, okay. I, have, I have that oh, one as you? well, and I love it too. But yeah. the tea takes it yeah, the, the top tea, for me. Yeah, the tea is really nice. It makes yeah. it very, very wearable. Um, it's so funny because I thought about buying this one, but I tried it in Shoppers Drug Mart. Yeah. And every time I tried it on my skin, I couldn't smell it. Oh, no. Like even on the card, I couldn't smell it. It must yeah. have been off. Okay. Because I can totally smell this, okay. but because it was so fleeting, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. And now I'm really regretting it. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. Like I, I wouldn't buy it if I couldn't smell it after a minute either. Yeah. But yeah, this one, I, this is also a big compliment getter. Okay. This was one of those alien, like I have a few alien flankers. I have the red one. What's that fusion. fusion. And I love that one. Yeah. Um, but this one gets me the most compliments. So this one oh, I grew really? most attached to. Cool. And I think it is just that the tea and the solar notes really makes it a summery fragrance. And yeah. I think people really like that. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, a summer fragrance and a daytime fragrance. Yeah. Like you could wear it in the daytime. Yeah. Like not that you couldn't wear it in the evening, but as a daytime fragrance. It's like a daytime mm -hmm. version of Alien. Very much so. Yeah. So you can wear it and still feel spectacular, but it's an easy reach for yeah. the day. For sure. Since we're doing Mugler, this is a flanker of Mugler Angel. Angel Etoile de Reves. So this is extremely similar to the original Angel, but it's got more oh. of a, it's gorgeous. It's got more of a praline note. Big time. Yeah. So <sighs> it still has that classic Mugler patchouli and you, you get a super dose of patchouli in, in the Angels, right? But yeah. this one is very, I get white chocolate, even though it's not okay. listed in the notes, and praline. And I just think it's extra special. And then the bottle. Yeah, well, I love the bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, love the color of the juice. And I love that praline note. It's beautiful. Like I've smelled the praline in, and I definitely get the patchouli, but this mm -hmm. is to me, I, like I can't stomach Angel. Yeah. So to me, when I smell that, and I know lots of women love it, but like my sister put it on one time, and so I went over and smelt it, and I basically went, what? Like, like I, I, I could not handle it. And I've got angel flankers, yeah. but the straight up alien or the straight up angel, not not good for me. But this is beautiful. Yeah. It's really nice, and it oh. is. It's strong. It goes a long way. Look at the bottle. It's so, it's got, if you can't see it, it's got sort of craters, and stars, and little twinkly stars. It's really, really pretty. And before this one aged, the juice was just pure blue. So it was oh, really, wow. really, really pretty. I know people say you're either an angel or an alien girl, but I'm both. You're both. But I also truly understand feeling your stomach turn. You're an angelic <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what I am. <laughs> Um, yeah, like the original, the original angel, like, what do you think it is? Is it the patchouli or the patchouli vetiver mix with that overwhelming sweet? Like, I don't know what uh, Yeah, it is. I think it's just too much. Like there's just mm -hmm. too much going on, too much sweetness, too much patchouli. And like, like even with this one, um, to me, um, Mugler's patchouli, Aki Gala wood, all yeah. those notes, they're a little sharper. They're a little different, yeah. I think, than most. So I can see where some people would find it sickly. Yes. But this is beautiful. This actually, this would be in the same category to me as something like an Angel Muse where it's sweet, yes. it's decadent, it's patchouli, but it's that yummy, yeah. you know? So, yeah. Definitely. You can't get that anymore, can you? Um, Check Fragrance Net. Yeah. Because the last time, like, I have a couple of backups of this because I loved it so much. Right. And they had a ton of them on Fragrance Oh, Net. really? Okay. So they might still have it because it's so little known. Yeah. You know, because it, it is really similar to the original Angel. <laughs> but it's, yeah, to me, just much sweeter and much easier to take. Yeah. yeah. And not too sweet. It's not a juvenile sweet. No. 
it's it's a gourmand and the patchouli really still keeps it a very grown up fragrance. And all of these, if I can find them, they will be listed in the description. I sure. apologize, you guys. A couple of these are discontinued and that's that would fine. be one of them, but you can still, if you look around, you can find them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so speaking of sweet patchouli, this is my favorite La Vie Belle. It's La Vie Belle Intensement or Intensement. This is the raspberry one. And I really just love it. I mean, I love it enough to get a bottle as big as my head. <laughs> they are huge, aren't they? <laughs> they are. I heard that the bottle's supposed to illustrate sort of a smile. <laughs> yeah, and I, <laughs> all I can think of is if that's a smile, it's a bit of a horror movie. Like, <laughs> like, like there's that movie. Have you seen that creepy smile? <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminds me of now. I, th I think it was supposed to mimic Julia Roberts' <laughs> mouth. But, oh, but I could be wrong because, like, there's no freaking way her mouth looked like that. But the mouth's pretty big. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, it's but beautiful. It's, it could be a big smile. But yeah, like that. this, for whatever reason, <laughs> since that creepy horror movie, uh, whenever I see this, I always think of Smile and I think of that creepy movie, which I never watch. So this one, again, maybe I'm an egomaniac, but if I get a lot of compliments when I'm wearing a fragrance, I, I fall in love with it twice as much, you know? For me, I've never been a La Vie Belle girl personally se right you know you can't deny it's a solid fragrance and it does smell good but i want to smell a little bit more unique right when i came across this one i just couldn't resist because mm. it's got the same warmth of raspberry that you get in hot couture okay very similar they're not the same fragrance yeah. but the raspberry as it sits on the skin develops oh, okay. into like this warm warm feminine cloud that just continues to deliver right and again, because this has that patchouli in the base, you're going to really have it be a, la a lasting perfume for you as well. Yeah. Um, I think this one has toffee. Oh, okay. It's just, yeah. And if it doesn't, it really smells like it does. Um, this one, oh. uh, I I didn't like as much as Le Vie Belle en Rose. That's my favorite my raspberry. Yeah. But I do like this one, and I think I actually like it better than the original. Well, I'm just a huge raspberry fan. Me too. But I found that the raspberry in this was sharp, like back in the day when it first came out. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I feel that way now. I don't find it sharp. I, find, I, I agree with you. I think it's got the same oh, depth man. of raspberry as Hot Couture. Yeah. That's really yeah. beautiful. It takes me back to a time when I was first discovering perfumes as a teenager. It's not, it doesn't smell that dated, but it, it's very much that old school perfumey perfume. Yeah. With the new school raspberry sweetness. I really, really love this one. And I love this. I love the little ribbon. Really? Yeah, it's... It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, since we're going back in time and talking about a, a more innocent time. <laughs> I love sunflowers, you guys. I don't know what you think of it. I'm sure this is one of those polarizing ones where it can smell very dated. But to me, this is just, you know, pure like mid 80s to early 90s supermodel. You're wearing a jean shirt, you know, you're dating mm -hmm. Rod Stewart. <laughs> Yeah, it just has that really like it, it just captures a time for me and I find men love this. They don't know it's dated. They just know it smells like girls. Yeah, you know, this one I, I got teary as soon as I smelled Aww. it actually because um, I remember I was really down and my sister Brunel she had just sold they had just sold their place and moved to Edmonton. So with the few dollars she had. She bought me a, it was a, I think a 50 mil of this with the shower gel. And I loved it so much. To me, it was happiness in a bottle. And every time I put it on, every time I had a shower and used the shower gel, Aww. I just felt so happy. And same, like I, I want to get this again. Like it's so nice. It It is, it's, it's iconic yeah. to the like late 80s, early 90s. I actually uh, took note. It was 1993. Really? When it came out? That's yeah. when I got married. But I love this. I, it would have been... It would have been about 97, 98 when she bought mm -hmm. it for me. This doesn't smell dated to me at all. It's kind of timeless. Yeah. Like, 
again, I just really get that supermodel effortless girl next door. Yeah. I know I say that a lot, but there are certain perfumes that that's yeah. exactly what I want to smell like. I want to smell effortless and like I'm pretty and like I just stepped out and I'm, you know, watering my garden or whatever. <laughs> and so um, what's the longevity oh, like on this? I, is so it... good. Oh, is it? Because it's an old one, right? Like right. it's a beast because I don't think this was ever reformulated. Yeah. But, you know, you can get this for 15 bucks. Really? You can get full bottles of this plus a lotion or plus a, you know, the set yeah. you had with the shower gel for 15 bucks on fragrance oh, wow. or whatever. I would never pay more than that for it. Um, yeah, it's just, it really does. It lasts a long time. And I have the lotion too at home, so I'll, I'll do them together. And you're just getting this beautiful waft of pretty woman. Yeah, and it smells long. almost like a, a honeyed, like not honey, but like a honeyed flower somehow. Well, I took notes on all these yeah, fragrances. what's in this? But this one I didn't even bother because it's, you know, one of those, yeah. the list uh, is this long, right? right? But I did take note of the fact that there's definitely musk in the base. There's so many flower, uh, florals. I think we can agree that it's mostly yellow yeah. florals. Yeah. But the fruits in the top, are melon, peach, and citrus. Oh, okay. And I think it's the melon that really gives yeah. it, you know, the tone of its personality. Love it. Oh, I love I, it. I can't believe how much I loved it. Because, like, I've seen it in store every once in a while and just went, no. Yeah. Like, but now that I smell it again, and it's got such good memories. It's really, it's it's a treasure. I love it. It's very affordable. Look at the color of the juice, you guys. Like, it's it really is happiness in a bottle. Yeah. So Sunflowers, Elizabeth Arden, give this one really high marks. I'll always have it in my top 10. And on that note, if there's a <laughs> fragrance that you guys just feel is so iconic and it brings back good memories for you, leave it in the comments. I want to know what they are. From that era, this one is actually from 1990. And this is one of the first perfumes I ever had. And I will continue to wear this through summers of my life. It's one of the prettiest mm. florals ever. It's a fruity floral also. It's called Biblos by Biblos. It's very heavy on honeysuckle. Oh, okay. And lily of the valley. I think there's musk in the base. Again, there were so many fruit notes, so many flower oh, okay. notes. But when I smell this, I get almost like, I really get the honeysuckle. I get honey, but it's not like an animalic honey. It's a honeysuckle really honey. That's pretty, yeah. The thing about this one, on first spritz, um, I get a bit of a celery note. Oh, okay. And then when it dries down, because it's an older perfume, you get that magic journey you don't always get with newer perfumes, right. where it really becomes one with your, your skin chemistry. And this amazing shampoo-y, fruity floral comes out. And that's that's what this is for me. This is my favorite shampoo fragrance. Oh, okay. like, like I'd put it in the same category as Dylan Blue. If you guys want to try it out or if you already know about it, let me know. I want to know my other Beeblos girls out there because I know there's a few of us and we get really excited about this one. It's so special. But this one, um, the Eau de Toilette comes in a larger bottle and it's a sort of a more of a turquoise color than the cobalt blue and okay. that one is don't Terrible. do it don't do it they <laughs> reformulated it and it doesn't smell like it used to the eau de parfum this is still this is a 50 ml and this was 15 bucks oh wow i think i got it off fragrance x or fragrance net and yeah i think i gave you yeah you did yeah it was when i <laughs> the very first time i met val she brought me a perfume which i thought was so nice and it was this one it's I just love it one of my very favorites now we're getting into the kind of the newer perfumes that I love so um along the same lines of a sunny floral lust for sun by Juliet has a gun as far as I know it doesn't have the offensive over the top of ambroxan that might bother you right um yeah this this to, to me it instantly I don't know what it is about Juliet has a gun it's yeah. specifically Juliet has a gun as soon as I smell it I can feel it right here it doesn't matter. The only one, I, I don't know if I noticed it in um, the pear one. Okay. And I want to like these because this one, I smell it, I think, like sunscreeny, sunshine, you know, out by a lake. It's like getting to sunset. Like the whole vibe is there. It's super relaxing. 
but instantly I feel Aww. it right here. So I can't do these. Does this, is this the one that has mango in it too? No, it doesn't. I'll read the yellow the florals. It's definitely yellow florals. Yeah. Coconut, freesia, bergamot, gardenia, ylang ylang, okay. jasmine, orange blossom. Oh, and white musk, ambroxan, and vanilla. So it does have ambroxan in the base. Like I have fragrances that have ambroxan in them. Yeah. So it's just, that's what I think it is. But like uh, love at first sight. Mm -hmm. it has ambroxan and it doesn't do that to me but okay. these for whatever reason i don't know well, what it is everybody's different it's definitely the way they do ambroxan or iso e super or yeah the way they yeah like it's their particular formulation that bothers you okay i love it it's really <laughs> i'm sorry no don't be sorry i'm glad you love it lots of people love the juliet has a gun once I know, I and that's a great could. one it's I've oh really you got another impressed. one yeah i love this house so when I first heard about Juliet Has a Gun, I thought it was kind of a kitschy name and I wasn't too drawn to it. And then I got myself a discovery set and I was nose blind to almost all of them. So I just took it back to Sephora and I was annoyed and that was it. And then I, what was it? I think it was Vanilla Vibes I smelled again oh, okay. and I could actually smell it. Still not enough though. And then yeah, the lust for sun kind of creeped into my life and I loved it so much and I love these bottles. Yeah. And then Ode to Dullness came along and I was a goner. So now this is one of my favorite houses. So it's funny how these things can change. This is your really cozy cashmere sweater, sandalwood, okay. just, you know, rainy day with a book fragrance. Yeah. It's very much a, like a je ne sais quoi, like people will know you smell good, but they may think this is just how you smell, which is something I really like. Yeah. I like a Your Skin But Better fragrance. Yeah, to me it smells a little bit clean, like yeah. a clean sweater. Yeah. I, I just really shoved that up my nose also. <laughs> now sweater. this one doesn't, it only has four notes, cashmere wood, sandalwood, star anise, tonka bean. Okay. So does this one bug you? Yeah, I could never Same wear thing, it. Same thing, hey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I love it. I love a sandalwood too, but I love a soft, feminine, yeah. light sandalwood. And that's definitely what this is. And I love the bottle too. I well, and the nice beautiful. thing about this one, yes, mm -hmm. I love the bottle. I love the color. Mm -hmm. Like the, the ombre is so beautiful. Yeah. But uh, what's nice about this is that it's a cozy fragrance that I think you could wear all year round. Yeah. So even, even though it, I associate cozy more with fall and winter this I think you could wear in the summer absolutely yeah this is an all year round yeah absolutely all right so next we have oh la la by Teo Cabanel introduced to us by our beautiful friend Danny from deep green beauty I became so obsessed with this perfume after the first time I smelled it I couldn't even believe the subtlety and the purity of the ingredients it really snuck up on me this is just sandalwood iris and hazelnut. Oh, I can't wait to spray this. Yeah, that's beautiful. A man it's can simple. easily wear this. It's simple. Uh, well, I think it's quite feminine, mm -hmm. but to me, it reminds me, like to me, you are, mm. uh, your favorite uh, fragrance pro profile is your skin, but better. I'm beginning to really realize that about myself. Yeah. yeah. So like, it, like yeah. you say a lot becomes one with, it, it, and I agree. It's like that's true. So this is in that same family. So a little bit cozy, uh, very, very sensual. Like very. that's the other thing. You go like all of these are sensual fragrances. That's actually really true. Like because some of them are super strong. Yeah. And there's no mistaking that you're wearing perfume. For sure. But I value just as much when you're wearing something and people aren't quite sure if that's just how you smell and yeah. you're just this exotic creature that smells <laughs> sexy and sensual and effortless. Yeah. And so, yeah, the Your Skin mm. But Better, it's the subtlety of it. Just there's something about it that's so romantic to me. Mm -hmm. So with this like hazelnut and sandalwood and yeah. then iris. So you've got powdery and almost gourmand but yeah. oh powdery and a bit velvety like i always yes. find sandalwood to be a bit velvet mm. yeah that's really beautiful it's just luscious and it's not when i reach for a lot to actually wear it's when i reach for it to smell and go oh yeah 
because it's it's a work of art. It's genuinely a masterpiece, yeah. the way they blended this. I'm impressed by the Teo Cavanel house I agree. entirely. Like I haven't smelled a fragrance of theirs that I wasn't a little bit in awe of. Yep. Even if I didn't want to own it and wear it, I'd, I still get the masterful blending and, and the quality of the ingredients. Just Very beautiful. Love, love, it's a treasure. So since we're ooing and aahing, this is not a your skin but better, but this, <laughs> <laughs> this is all out, bowl you over, stunning, gorgeous, sexy, dessert, over the top, not everyone's cup of tea. You know I love my Middle Eastern fragrances, and now that I've kind of settled and I've had, you know, experienced hundreds of them, this is the one. This is the one, guys. Like, you know how many Middle Eastern fragrances <laughs> we've talked about. I am so shocked that this is your one. Oh, really? Yes. I, I, I wouldn't have anticipated this. Okay. Off the top of your head, what would you think would be my one? Or even my top three? Well, Chance Tenderina, for starters. I know. But, but I know you like Chance Autendre. You know? I really do. And so, I, I would have brought that today, but my bottle's bone dry. And I just thought, you know, because I have Chance Tenderina by the yeah. Zon Alhambra and I use that in its place, but it kind of just feels like not, I don't know. It is Middle I guess Eastern, you. Frank, but you know what I mean? This is pure Middle Eastern. Yeah. So, yeah. well, so, so out of Middle Eastern fragrances, yeah. like the pure Middle Eastern. Yeah. What would I have thought you would have gone for? I don't know. Like, this is pretty freaking iconic. It is. But I thought you would have gone for, you know, the bottle that has the black ribbon? Oh, like Oud Mood. Yes. I love Oud Mood. And, you know, I discovered Oud Mood right before this one. Okay. So the difference between those two, because I think they're extremely similar, and a lot of people say they're very similar, but I think Shagaf Oud just smells so much more like a dessert to me. Okay. It's richer. So I feel like this is like... Oud plus Middle Eastern dessert. Right. This is a, a rose oud combination with praline mm -hmm. vanilla, I think. Yes. So it's oud and rose primarily, but it's like mm -hmm. with that praline and it does, it smells mm -hmm. like some sort of mysterious oudy, rosy dessert. <laughs> it's so, so good. Sort of like a gulab jamun. Do you know what that is? It's like no. a, oh God, it's so good. It's a, it's like deep fried donut holes. And, but it's made with a cheese. It's made with paneer cheese okay. and they blend that into the dough and they oh. deep fry it and then they douse it in rose water syrup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes pistachios on top. That's, and that's, you know, my favorite food that I've ever tasted. I really have a sweet tooth. That's what this reminds me of. So the rose is like a rose water syrup to me. Okay. It's all sweet. It's all dessert. I'm not really a big rose fan. But in this, it's blended perfectly to cool. give me that kind of, like, I'll tell you, Maria, for a while I was smelling this so much, not even wearing it, just huffing, huffing. it. <laughs> I was getting a stomach ache. I think I told you. I, I forgot, but there yes, There was I a remember. period of time I'm like, oh no. And I still <laughs> couldn't stop smelling it. it. There's something in it that actually does turn my stomach a little. <laughs> and I still can't stop oh. smelling it. So I have a really complex love affair with this one. I just think it's so freaking sexy yeah. and opulent. Like I think yes. it's really luxurious. Mm -hmm. I yeah, like I think that's that what perfume, I, I think that perfume, for like frag heads, we yeah. should actually just be called... Scent huffers. Scent huffers, <laughs> absolutely. I'm a scent huffer. <laughs> it's how it is. Yeah, I love it. If you get your nose on it, give it a try. You may not ever want to wear it, but it's still, it's it's just something to behold. It's so good. I think it's great on guys too. Oh, Super yeah. sexy. Yeah, definitely. This is a new discovery for me. It's Giardini di Toscana Bora Bora. I discovered this because I had a dupe of this that I didn't even realize was a dupe of this. It's the uh, Dua Hug of Flowers, the right. one I called my corpse flower mm -hmm. because I want my corpse to smell like that because I love it that much that when I leave this world, I want to leave this world we'll smelling like this. We'll mummify you in this. <laughs> So I loved it so much that I just, I had to treat myself to the original and I certainly wasn't disappointed. It's beautiful. It smells like a lot of tiara. Is it's, there tiara? Yes. Yeah. I think that's the but top But also note. some yellows. Tiara is the very top note, okay. but then ylang ylang, jasmine, apricot, coconut milk, white musk, jasmine lactone, 
vanilla, caramel, white musk, and amber. Like there's, there's what's not to love. Instead of smelling like a bouquet, it smells like a flower dessert somehow. Yeah. Like it's got enough sweetness. It's beautifully blended. Like I've tried this on my skin and I don't know if it's one I would purchase because I've got quite a few of those. Yeah. But if I didn't have any that kind of fell into that category, it's one of the most beautiful ones I've smelt. If you love yellow floral, tiara, does it, does it have coconut at all? It has coconut milk. Okay. It has vanilla and it has caramel. So oh, okay. that's yeah. where you're getting that extra kick of sweetness yeah. that would take it out of like... You know, this is a tiara flower fragrance, yeah. very heavy on the tiara. Um, yeah, this is way more dessert like to me than that much one. So, yeah, yeah, and I don't find this like even though this has all those white florals, yellow florals, um, mm -hmm. tropical florals, it doesn't feel too heady to me. It yeah. feels really balanced well with the the sweets. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's scrumptious. And I think we talked to when I brought the Dua version, we talked about, or you had mentioned that it almost smells like humid weather, like yes. you're on vacation amongst actual tiara flowers mm -hmm. and frangipanis, and it's a humid feel. Mm -hmm. So good. Like, how would you compare this, say, to something like terracotta? This is way more sweet. Yeah. Uh, this is more, I would say this is more modern than terracotta. Mm -hmm. Have you smelled terracotta in yeah. a while? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think that terracotta smells more oily. Okay. Whereas this smells definitely more gourmand. Yes. So this is a floral gourmand to me, whereas terracotta is more of a, a floral, right. like a tropical floral, a little hint of coconut, mm -hmm. a lot of tiara, but this to me smells like a, a tropical floral gourmand. Yeah. So you're getting the tiara, the yellow florals, but combined with those the caramel gooey. Caramel. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And the vanilla is a perfectly sweet yeah. vanilla. Well, and Giardini di Toscana really does vanilla mm -hmm. as well. Like they, they're yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. Absolutely. I like that one better than Hug of Flowers. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I think that that one, the, the balance between the sweet and the floral is perfection in that. Whereas yeah. in the, the Dua, I felt like the florals definitely, I noticed the florals more. Now I'm on skin, it. It, on yeah. skin, it may come across completely different, but just smelling it like that, that's I what I get. I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm really partial to the Dua because it's so strong and long lasting. It actually does last longer than the original. Right. So I yeah, that's the thing that, that sucks. Some of the, well, Dua's an X trait, right? Yeah. So that makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Oh. But it's, I love it. That's probably, I would put that in my my second place. But this is a close tie. We're, we're down to number two. This is a recent discovery. When I had ordered this Bora Bora from Parfum Exquise in Montreal, Canada, they gave me a sample of Sonic Flower from room 1015. And I didn't even know what to do with myself. She really didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I sprayed that, uh, that sample was gone in less than 24 hours. And I was like, I had to get it immediately. So this is, I, I couldn't be more impressed in the category of your skin, but better. This is my all time. A hundred percent. Favorite, 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 favorite. There's just nothing like it. So I'm going to tell you what the notes are because they are pretty unusual and special. The top note is carrot seeds followed by pink pepper. Oris, so you get that really nice, pep, like sort of peppery, powdery. Jasmine, musk, and broxen and cashmere, and you're just mm -hmm. on a smooth ride. Yeah. And it's totally clean, feminine. Just, it's not like clean laundry. It's no. like clean skin. And it's yeah. so nice. Well, and to me, this is. Give it over. It, it reminds me of someone that might be invisible. Yeah. It's like this, like invisible aura of deliciousness. It's very soft. It's kind of powdery, quite musky. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree, it's clean smelling, uh, but very, very smooth and rich mm -hmm. and quite sexy. This is so sexy. This like is this so... is a between the sheets kind of sexy. Like, you know, that lazy Sunday morning sexy feel? Yeah. That's what I get kind of from, from this. But I think it's also actually quite elegant and classy. Mm -hmm. It's very niche smelling. Yeah. It's very expensive smelling. It, and it I isn't agree. a cheap perfume. Yeah. Um, but worth it. It's every drop is worth it. Um, yeah. Beautiful. 
It's just, I, I can't say enough good things about it. And I love that it's called Sonic Flower. What a cool name. Yeah. I love room 1015. So do I. Love, love that house. And my favorite perfume of all time, forever and ever, nothing can take its place, Quattro by Boucheron. This is, this is it for me. This is such a pretty, effortless, shampooy, fruity floral with lots of strawberry and grapefruit in the top notes. So it sparkles, it's very feminine. It's, oh, you can't wear too much of it either, I find. Like, it just smells good. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes it. And it's... Affordable. Yeah. And it's ageless. It's I very agree. affordable. It's probably about 40, 45 bucks yeah. for the big bottle. And, uh, yeah, your grandma can wear it. Your daughter can wear it. It's just the picture of femininity. I get a lot of that grapefruity bergamot yeah. feel in the opening rose kind of aquatic yeah uh, i don't get any strawberry but i find that as this dries down i get a sweetness that starts to develop on the skin i think it's so beautiful it's i agree timeless very classy yeah. it's a signature scent type fragrance and uh yeah just just absolutely beautiful See, that's funny you don't get strawberry because I get that's like a, a fresh cut strawberry. Like really? not too, like, you know, so often strawberry notes it's are artificial. candy. Yeah. yeah. And this smells like real fresh, almost a greenish strawberry. Um, to me, this, this would be in the same category as um, Chance Tendre. By yeah, Chanel, I agree. But with that strawberry brightness. So you get the grapefruit mm -hmm. and instead of quince or whatever it is right. in the top notes, more of a, like it's not a berry. I don't really get a berry perfume out of this, but it's yeah, like a green strawberry. I love it. And I'm, I'm a freak for grapefruit. Well, now I'm going to pay attention because I've never noticed the strawberry, mm -hmm. but I get where you're coming from. Like mm -hmm. a green, fresh, slightly underripe strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like that. Okay. A shampoo strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> like if you like something like an Idole by Lancôme mm -hmm. or something like Chanson Tendre, mm -hmm. uh, anything of that nature, uh, it smells, it's in the same category, but this is just so freaking affordable. Mm -hmm. I find the longevity is like moderate, mm -hmm. but uh, good moderate. Like, it's not too bad. No. Like it's, yeah, it's not, you're not going to get more than six hours. Right. You know, and you, like I said, I feel like I spray a lot of this one and I feel like I, I never really feel like it's overdone. Yeah. So I think it's because it's such an effervescent, sparkling light fragrance, mm -hmm. but it is, it's enduring enough if you, if you use quite yeah. a bit. I agree. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. My favorite forever. And it's hard to pick one favorite, but if I had to choose just one, this would be it. Yeah. You forgot one, I think. Oh my gosh, I did. I, as soon as you said that, I knew which one. <laughs> oh, all right. Unfortunately, this one is discontinued. Um, it is, you can still find it here and there, but you got to really look. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Classic Essence. It is amazing. What do you smell when you smell this? Okay, I want to so know what you smell. I love this one because there's really nothing else like it. Some people say that it's akin to Alien Essence Absolute. I guess, which yeah. I can get that because it's got a thickness to it, like a mm -hmm. sweet thickness to it. Um, what I love about this is it somehow manages to succeed in blending aldehydes with sweet gourmand notes. Mm -hmm. And that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. So you've got like a sparkling solar aldehydic kind of beautiful sillage with ginger and whipped cream in the base and a gorgeous smooth decadent vanilla that's not too vanilla it's not too syrupy it's it's very smooth um some people say they almost get like a ginger ale but i just get, i definitely get the ginger the aldehyde might give it that sparkling kind of ginger ale feel and the whipped cream is definitely there. Do you get all that? I do, Val. So for me, what I get, <laughs> I get a gin, some sort of ginger beer, yeah, like yeah. sparkly from the aldehydes mm. and the ginger. But as it warms up in the skin, to yeah. me, this has always been a gingerbread cake with whipping cream. Oh. And I love it. <laughs> see, see, she, to, yeah, I, you that, know, that's I'm just going to get rid of this thing. Oh, see, as cute that. as it is, but it's making it it's a pain. I, don't see, I, don't I have I have a uh, like three quarters of a bottle, 
And I don't talk about oh, it very God, often because it's, it's so discontinued, but it really is a gorgeous fragrance. It To me, it's the best out of the, uh, you know, the classic line or yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that this is the best one they ever released. That one, and there's one that was, I think it was called Cabernet, and it was a girl mm -hmm. with a red sparkly dress. Okay, yeah, I've and seen it. I yeah, that it. one was really good. It had a lot of ginger in it as well, okay. a little more peppery. But I think what makes this so nice is that it, sometimes it can mm -hmm. smell almost a little bit orange, like almost like a Grand Marnier with gingerbread and whipped cream somehow. Yeah, it, it does have orange blossom. Does it? Yeah. So yeah, you get like there's there's so much going on in it, but yeah, Grand Marnier is a great take because I can get that too. It's very, it's decadent. Yeah, if you can it's find really this, nice. yeah, like even to get a used bottle, if you like ginger, if you like orange blossom, this is such a neat fragrance to have in your collection. Like beautiful. <clears throat> And if you can't find this, I will say, I haven't investigated it thoroughly, but recently I was at Shoppers Drug Mart and I noticed there was a brand new Scandal, Scandal Absolute. Okay. Have you seen it? It's the same bottle with the legs on the top, but it's got a gold ombre. It's very that. pretty. And I think the, the legs are gold. Yeah. And I smelled it and I'm like, oh, I know that DNA. And it smells really <gasps> similar to this. It's not the same, but really similar. So I looked up the nose. There's no ginger. Do you mind? No, of course I, not. I wanna, let's look at the nose. I'm excited because I smell. love that. I, like, that's one of my favorite. Like, I love Scandals, except for the original because it goes pee on I me. Know, but I got a big bottle rest. of it, too. Oh, did you? Did it go pee on you, too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, I love it because I love the florals in it. And then as soon as it dries down, I'm like, well, it smells like someone just went, hey, do you mind if I pee on your wrist? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, it smells like pure urine. Like, pure urine to me. At first, it smells amazing. Okay, check it out. Like, yeah, the legs are gold. The body is gold. The scandal across the front is gold. And it's so sort what, of an what are the notes? The notes are tuberose, black fig, and sandal. <laughs> See, that doesn't sound anything like this one. It but it smells but similar? It's similar DNA. Yeah, like you don't get ginger, but there's a smooth sweetness in it. Mm. And I guess that would have a lot to do with what the way that the fig plays with right. the tuberose. Yeah. Let's investigate. We'll see if we can get yeah. a sample or something or just hit up the Shoppers Drug Mart and smell it. But yeah. But anyway, if you can get your hands on this and the original comes in, like when you buy it, it comes in a rose gold can. Mm -hmm. So you can put it on top of the can on your dresser. I love Jean-Paul Gaultier. So do I. I, I love, love their it. packaging. Cool. So number one is Quatre. Yeah. Uh, and then two and three are um, those two. Sonic Flower by Room 1015 and Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. Yeah, I love these two. And these are very new discoveries for me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe it'll change over time, but I don't know. I feel like these are going to be following me around for a long time because this is... Well, this, this is what you're going to get mummified mm -hmm. in. So. Absolutely. This there is it go. right here. I mean, that's not going to change for me. I'm going to love this one. I'm 91. <laughs> and then this one is just, yeah, you can wear it all year round. And like you mm -hmm. said, it's a very, it's super cozy. Mm -hmm. So it's, as it's, I love wearing perfumes for me yeah. more than anything. So yeah. This well, is and, and what you have is special. the classy fragrance kind of a tropical and a little bit of a cozier one. So yeah. what a great, what a great combination. Thank you for sharing all oh, your faves. Thank you for having me on. Cause this is, <laughs> I've been dying to do this one. This is really fun. Love you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. So to start, these aren't in any particular order. I do have one favorite. Oh, I'm and sorry, uh, my nose is <laughs> Oh, good. I'm so sorry. No problem. You know what I love about this is that it's it like really relaxes me knowing you can edit. <laughs> Sorry, I just fell asleep and started pouring up. Like, oh God, no problem. My nasals. <laughs> there was one time, the whole video, I could see a little snot globule <laughs> in my nose. No one else noticed, I'm sure, but I could see it at Trophy Nuts. I've like, never seen oh. anything like that on you when I'm watching it. I'd be crazy. Like, imagine if you didn't catch it. <laughs> 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 I have my mom over.